All right, so I had to redo this. It actually was funny, but I had to redo it because a couple of little reasons. But <clears throat> so I was waiting for my stepson to get out of school. I'm sitting in the parking lot, just checking Twitter and stuff, and just like looking around. And as I'm checking Twitter, I see the trailer for the new Resident Evil movie. And the worst part was, I could have clicked past it. I could have scrolled right back like, oh, screw that noise, nope. What did I do to myself? What I always do to myself. Tortured myself and watched the stupid damn trailer. Pardon me. Yeah. I'm not going to play it, but, oh. It's just like, why? <laughs> why do I do this to myself all the time? Why? So, apparently... The plot is they're going back to Raccoon City for whatever the fuck reason. I'm like, didn't we blow Raccoon City up like 12 movies ago? Wasn't it like in like the, the I want to say the second movie where they were all running around stupid. The one that was actually kind of ish. And I mean a little bit ish. The most like the regular Resident Evil games. And even that died. There was, oh, they were like, didn't they blow that up at the end? Wasn't it the whole premise of the second movie was just to blow up Raccoon City? Apparently, they're going back. I don't know how the fuck they're going back. Because the last time we saw these assholes, they were at, like, a bombed-out White House. And dragons and shit were flying around. And I thought one of them chicks from Game of Thrones was going to come out of no fucking place. And there was just zombies crawling around, around, like, a blown-out White House. And I don't even know. And, like, Wesker wasn't really a bad guy, but in the new trailer, he was like, I should have killed you. <laughs> it doesn't stop. And I know they're saying it's the last one. It should have been the last one 40 movies ago. Why do we keep coming out with this? Because I was in, in the last video, before I had to redo it, I was just like, when the third movie came out. The first movie, we I, I cannot remember who I saw the first movie with. But I went with a couple people who all knew the game. We all knew the game. We all loved the game. And we all threw up in the theater because it was awful. Then the second movie came around. It, I didn't think it was that bad, but it wasn't good either. It was like, on the scale of badness, it, it was tolerably bad. <laughs> then the third one came around. Me, my mother, and my brother, we went to go see it. My mother, I've told her, me and my brother have both told her stuff about the game because we played those games religiously. Why do people insist on calling while I'm doing this? Excuse me. Alright, sorry about that. Um, but um, we played those games and we were telling her stuff. And she knew, she knows like a good clip about the games. This is why I believe people. <laughs> really? Thank you. Pardon. So this don't happen again. I can't believe it happened twice. <laughs> but, um, getting back to my story. We told mom, my mother, and she knows, like, a good deal about the storyline of Resident Evil. And she can follow pretty much what we tell her. And we went to go see that awful third movie. And even she was like... What is going on in this movie? And my mother's not a horror movie fan. Um, she doesn't like horror movies. She doesn't like anything with a lot of violence. But she was willing to take her kids, her adult, mind you, children at the time, to go see, to go with them to go see the Resident Evil movies just to see what it was talking. And she was like, this doesn't have anything really to do with the game, does it? And we were like, no. And she was like, what was the point? And we were like, we don't know. <laughs> and she, even she was just like, well, that was a waste of time and money. Exactly. So if, if a person who doesn't play the games but knows something about the games comes in and says, this has no fucking point. What the fuck are we doing? Basically, <laughs> what are we doing? Why are we still coming out with these movies? Then the fourth one came around. I didn't go see that one in the movies. I saw that on like tape or DVD or some shit. And that was bad. But I remember I was dating some dude at the time and we went to go see another movie and some boys were coming out of that one and they came out looking sad, disgusted. <laughs> one boy was like, 
Why do we go see that? We just wasted all kinds of money to go see this. And his friends were like looking like, yeah, we, we really fucked up and did. Yeah, we did. No one, no one likes these movies. Nobody likes these movies. No one's ever liked these movies. You know who I feel bad for? Besides Shinji Mikami, by the way. Because everything with Resident Evil, when it goes sideways, I just feel bad for Shinji. But regardless, I feel bad for um Romero, George Romero. Because he was supposed to have done the Resident Evil movies, but they came out and was like, oh, this is, the script isn't good. And I've watched people, I watched a couple of dudes like a few weeks ago do a table reading of the really super rough script of what was going to be George Romero's movies. Granted, they probably couldn't have pulled it off at the time that that was written, because that was written in like... 1999 probably came out in like the early 2000s because I found out that God off of Paul Anderson nonsense came out in 2002. Um, probably what would have happened was they wouldn't have had the budget to be able because he had the hunters in it. He had Plant 42 in his movie. He had Tyrant. Those are elements from the first fucking game. Paul Anderson, we don't know what he was doing. We don't know what he was on snorting drinking, shooting up, I'm sure all three, so we don't know what the fuck he was doing, he fucked it up, and like, the only thing he had in it was the mansion, that was it, and like, he stole the laser part from, um, from Romero, because that was in it, but it wasn't like laser beams going and like, cutting people's heads off and shit, it was like, laser beams were setting off other stuff, and then... Like, he stole one of the characters, because there was a chick in it named Rodriguez, but they got an actual person, an actual woman named Rodriguez to be in the movie. <sighs> what the fuck are we doing? And why do these movies keep coming out? I don't know who's backing them, but they need to be punched in the throat. Paul Anderson needs to be put on a boat to be forced to live in the middle of the ocean, not having contact with the rest of humanity, because he is an idiot. Oh... And somebody died working on this fucking movie. Can you believe that shit? I read this months ago. I think the woman, the stunt woman for Mila Jovovich, whatever the fuck her name is, she fucking died working on this movie. Dead. Like, there's somebody in a graveyard dead who worked on this last horrible Resident Evil movie. Died for no good fucking reason. Because these movies... They're not a noble cause. They're a hot damn mess. And they keep bringing them out. And I'm just like, if this isn't the last movie, I swear to God, I'm going to find Paul Anderson and I'm going to choke him with a roll of nickels because I can't take it no more. Please stop. Just stop making movies. You, your, your movies are just bad and you need to stop. Because somebody pointed out to me a few weeks ago, like, you know he did the Mortal Kombat movies. One, the Mortal Kombat movies are horrible. And two, the second movie, to this day, I still want my $5.45 back for going to go see that bullshit. And it was all because of Paul W.S. Anderson. Don't let me see you nowhere. <laughs> Rolling nickels right down the gourd. Because you need to not. You need to just not. You're bad at what you do. I can see if you were moderately okay. Like, eh, like you, you go see a movie and be like, oh, it was all right. No, no. It's never all right. It's just always you end up sad and mad and just wondering where the fuck your life went wrong. So, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, why are we going back to Red Queen City? We blew that up. Why is Wesker like, one day he's evil. Next thing he's like, I need you help you, Alice, and blue. Why is there still an Alice chick in this? What the fuck are we doing with this? Like, what are we doing? Ugh. And it's coming out, like, the Resident Evil 7 game is coming out on the 24th. This bullshit movie is coming out on the 27th. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in the world. I know what they're trying to do, but don't, just please don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Please do not do it, because it's bad. The only, and I mean the only positive thing to come out of any of this is, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this guy named Phelous, he does reviews for Resident Evil movies, and they are goddamn hilarious. Like, the last time I watched all his reviews back to back, I had a headache from laughing. So, and he goes a little bit more insane, which each and every dev devolution of these movies, because these movies have just devolved into a damn train wreck. 
it, it, it was truly like watching a bomb get dropped on a peaceful community. It's, it's like you see a body scorched and just laying out in the sidelines. That's how fucked up it is. But that's the only positive thing to come out of that is like maybe we'll get the last Phyllis review and it'll be just as hilarious as the other ones. Because I'm telling you, man, I want my money back. I want my money back for all the movies and I ain't getting it. And I feel bad for George Romero. And Romero's to this day is still pissed about that. And he has every right to be. So. And the worst part. The worst of it all. The worst part out of all of this is. I know I'm going to go see it. I'm not going to the movies to see it. Because my best friend, she got suckered into going to see that last one. I got that. I had to watch that on DVD because my husband was all like, Oh, it might not be that bad. Speaking of husband, I think he home. It may not be that bad, so let's watch it. He rented it on Redbox. Redbox, you part of the problem, too. So, oh, and he had me sitting there watching that, and I was just like, and she warned me. She sat there and told me verbatim what was going to happen, and I was like, it didn't matter, because when I saw it, it was just like watching, like, a good friend get beat to death. <laughs> it was just that level of just what the fuck so I don't know I'm just sick of this shit I just really wish Paul Anderson would just they need to put him they need to tie him up put him on a boat and force him to live by him by himself just him in the boat that's it no other human contact you are banned from society for life cause you need to stop so oh. I can't take it no more, please. I just can't. So I'm going away now because fuck the movies. And I know I'm going to see it, which is worse. At some point, it's going to get seen. And I'm going to be like throwing up. Later.